You might be interested in creating a private journal for your students to share thoughts, ideas, observations, and engage these students in, this own, in their own private journals. Let's take a look at how we can do this in Canvas that would include date stamps and private information that you can look at for each student. I'm going to start by going to People, and we're going to add a group set. And in this case, I have four students in my practice course here. You want to know how many students you have in your course, and then you'll want to create your group set. I'll give my group set a name. In this case, I have four students in my class, so I'm going to split it into four groups. And now when I look at my group sets, I have one person in each one of my groups. The next thing I want to do is rename my groups to the person's name. So it's going to be best for me to come in here and I'll just maybe by last name. And I do this for each one of my groups. Now that I have everybody assigned to a group and I've renamed my groups with my student's last name. So now what I need to do is create my discussion board. I'll add my discussion. And I have three units in my course, so I'll just start by doing Unit 1, Journal. So I put some instructions in here for their journal for Unit 1. Now this could be a graded discussion if I like. I want to make sure that this is a group discussion and then I select my group set of private journals. Let's say it's worth 10 points. I'm going to save and publish this. And I'm going to pin this discussion. Let's take a look at what the student sees. The student can see the groups that they're in by either clicking on the groups icon or within the course, they can see their group over here. If I go into discussions, the student can enter their own private journal. And after reading their instructions, they can post their thoughts here. Let's go back into the instructor view. I'll go into discussions. and into the Unit 1 journal and select the journal of the student I want to see. I'll go into the grade book and I can do my grading here. And I'll go to the speed grader. and I'll assign my grade. And I could do that for each student by just clicking the Next button.